New surveillance footage obtained exclusively by CNN appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. The video, captured on multiple cameras, shows Combs assaulting his then-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. A lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day referenced actions that seem to match those seen in this video. There is no audio. I can't even show half of this shit on YouTube. This is like my third time watching this and I still can't get over the fact that he really was beating her ass. I'm done defending you, Rich. We got Drizzy Epstein, now we got the diddler. According to the complaint, Combs became extremely intoxicated and punched Miss Ventura in the face, giving her a black eye, which according to the lawsuit, prompted Ventura to try and leave the hotel room. The surveillance video obtained by CNN begins as she enters the hallway. The complaint says as she exited, Mr. Combs awoke and began screaming at Miss Ventura. He followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. The complaint goes on to say he grabbed her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her. In the surveillance video, Combs can be seen grabbing Ventura and throwing her to the ground. As Ventura lies on the ground, Combs then kicks her twice and attempts to drag her on the floor back to the hotel room. Ventura is seen picking up a hotel phone. Combs seems to walk back to the hotel room, then returns and appears to shove her in a corner. Moments later, he can be seen throwing an object in her direction. According to Ventura's now settled lawsuit, the pair began dating several years after they met in 2005. They parted ways in 2019. Combs attorney said the decision to settle was in no way an admission of wrongdoing. Ventura declined to comment on the video, but her attorney told CNN the gut-wrenching video has only further confirmed the disturbing and predatory behavior of Mr. Combs. Words cannot express the courage and fortitude that Miss Ventura has shown in coming forward to bring this to light. The video hasn't been seen publicly before and comes on the heels of a series of civil lawsuits alleging Combs' involvement in sex trafficking and sexual abuse. Allegations Combs has repeatedly denied. In a December 2023 statement, Combs responded to the claims in all the lawsuits saying, sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. CNN has reached out to representatives for Combs for comment. I got to apologize because I was one of the main people saying that Cassie was only doing it for the money. I was saying, hey, if it was that bad, she would have left. She only stayed because of the lifestyle Diddy was providing. And then you look at that video and you see that she was barefoot. She was trying to leave with no shoes on. Only people leave their house or their hotel room with no shoes on are people running for their life. She was scared for her life. So I have to apologize. The crazy thing is we live in a, a society now where certain women just weaponize the R word or weaponize being abused. And a lot of times those allegations are false. So now when somebody who's actually being abused come out and say something, it's like the boy who cried wolf. This is clear abuse. My boy who sent me the video he was talking on the phone and he said, bro, the fact that Diddy was doing all that and the towel didn't come off, he's a professional. Meaning that this was not his first time abusing her like that. Cassie probably about 115, 120 soaking wet. Diddy, I know you weigh over 200 pounds. People have been trying to convince me that Diddy was a villain for years. And I'm just like, nah, bro. Hell no, not Diddy. Come on, son. Diddy might be, you know, he might be crossing the street. He might be a little adventurous, but Diddy ain't no villain. Diddy, that is villainous behavior. That is villainous behavior. There is no way that any woman that's giving me some can get me that upset to where I start kicking her on the ground. Looking at that video, I see an insecure man. Now I believe all the allegations about blowing up Kid Cudi's car. After seeing that, bro, what else are you capable of? I'm hurt, man. I'm, I'm disappointed and I'm hurt. All our childhood heroes are being exposed as villains. If you've seen that horrific video, surveillance footage of Diddy punching, kicking, throwing things at Cassie and attacking her repeatedly, and you are asking yourself, after watching that hotel surveillance footage from 2016, 
Why had it not come out until now? According to Cassie, the victim in that footage, in the lawsuit that she filed last year against Diddy, she claims that Diddy paid the hotel to get that footage, gave them $50,000, and <laughs> problem solved. He was in possession of that footage. What I believe happened is in the recent raid of Diddy's multiple properties, the government came into possession of that, and the government, somebody there leaked it because Team Diddy had that until now, paid $50,000 for it, and everybody that at that sense. hotel in Los Angeles responsible for this should be held criminally responsible because if they saw an act of violence, a crime being committed, they had an obligation to report that, and they didn't. Shame on them. Shame on them. It's about to be so many people coming out the woodworks on Diddy, making all these allegations. Whether it's true or not, it's not gonna matter, because this video is gonna make you guilty until proven innocent. And right now, I don't think anybody is gonna be trying to prove you innocent, my boy. I seen this one video where his ex-wife, Kim, God rest the dead. Her assistant was saying that Diddy tried to make Kim lick Tassie's used. Now I don't know if that's true. That sounds that sounds out there. But at the same time, again, we don't know what you're capable of, Diddler. We do not know what you're capable of. This is a nail in the coffin. But if J Lo comes out, hear me out. If J Lo comes out and say that during their relationship, Diddy was abusing her, boy. That surviving Diddy's documentary is going to be crazy. In conclusion, I want to say that we need to stop jumping to conclusions. I need to stop jumping to conclusions. At this point, bro, I'm not making no assumptions or nothing. We're just going to watch it play out. Because I really sat here and defended this man. And a video come out with you stomping shorty out. I know I feel stupid. I'm not afraid to admit I feel stupid. I just can't believe you would do that. This is probably going to be my only video on this because I try not to do videos on these rich people. You know? If I had the type of money Diddy had, I wouldn't be doing this type of shit. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all wouldn't be doing this type of shit, neither. But money won't change you if you're lame. Money won't change you if you're an abuser. And money's definitely not going to change you if you are a villain. It's just going to make you even more of a villain because now you can pay to get away with your crimes.